Welcome back to Real Life Reviews and over the last few months we've been testing out Hoob's latest high-tech tri-suit, the Anemois. And this really is a tri-suit full of cutting-edge technology designed to help us, particularly aerodynamically, go faster in all three disciplines. Yes, Anemois, or however you pronounce it. And there's a nice little A logo on the back. The Anemois are from Greek mythology, the Greek wind gods, north, east, south and west. And that's a real nod to the aero nature of this tri-suit. The tri-suit that is worn by the likes of Alistair Brownlee and David McNamee, and the tri-suit that is genuinely designed with aero benefits in mind. Priming that focus is Dan Bigham. And many of you will know or have heard of Dan Bigham, but for those that haven't, Dan is an ex-Mercedes AMG Petronas aerodynamic performance engineer. So from a technical perspective, he's right up there with aerodynamics. But he's also an athlete and a triathlete. He's a 10 times national cycling champion. And that goes across the velodrome, the road, and in TT. So this is a guy that really knows what he's doing and his name is out there and he's helped a whole host of collaborations uh, work and get quicker, particularly on the bike. But as a triathlete as well, this suit is designed to be quicker in the water for the swim and also quicker and more comfortable on the run. And let's face it, aerodynamics in our sport is really important. It's well documented that on the bike, 80% of our drag comes from the body. So if we can wear a suit that is going to make some significant inroads into that aerodynamic drag, then it's got to be a bonus of some description. So let's take a, a bit of a closer look at the suit itself. And I'm really impressed with the colorway on the suit. But one of the first things you notice looking at the top here and when you first put the suit on is it's designed in an arms neutral fashion. This is for more comfort in the swim. So it's not just about bike aerodynamics here. It's for more comfort in the swim as well as for increased aerodynamics. Another feature that you find when you first put the suit on is that both the arms and the legs are much longer. And the effect of this extra length is that it encompasses more of your body into the aerodynamics of the suit. The suit itself employs lightweight coal black fabrics so we get that enhanced UV protection that we're used to in high-end tri-suits now and Hoob also employ their what they call their neoprene trip technology which is about disturbing the airflow in the right places so that we enhance what's happening behind the body to improve our overall aerodynamic effect. So what is this neoprene trip technology all about? Well it's a little bit ironic in some respects in that it's creating turbulence to reduce drag. So what happens is, and it's all about the air going around your actual body, is it induces the boundary layer to turn into a, a controlled turbulent state. That in turn uh, means that we resist changes in curvature or shape around the body and the air stays attached for longer. Now what this does is it reduces the size and low pressure weights that then occur behind the body. So overall we're getting improved aerodynamic. Taking a look at the rear of the suit now we find a lot more that we've got the ribbing in the arms and across the the back of the shoulders um, that we saw on the front but we also have this ribbing coming all the way down the back and then we have a single lower gel pocket. Now the thing about this gel pocket, those of you that have seen my DS long course review will remember that instead of just the one in the middle, we had two that were up on the sides. And the criticism of those was that first of all in that position they were very high up and secondly that when under stretch the flap that made it aero in the water the whole thing would stretch open and actually it would work as a bit of a balloon. Now, we don't want or need tons and tons 
of nutrition on our body when we're on the bike or running in an Ironman, for example, because we have the nutrition on our bike or at aid stations. So this is purely there for a single emergency gel. And from that perspective, it works really well. It's lower down, it doesn't stretch its own flap, so if you're doing a, a non-wetsuit swim of some description, you're not creating drag, and it's easy to get to, because it is, if we see where the pad is there, it is in the very much the lower back and easy to get to. So we mentioned the pad there. What can I say about the pad? Well, everything is relative when I talk about this suit to the DS Long Course, which was a very, very, very good suit and I've worn many, many times. And I've worn that suit in a number of Ironman or Ironman distance competitions and I've actually not had a problem with the seat pad with the chamois. Now the chamois in this one is meant to be better than the DS long course. Sadly the the first iron distance race that I was going to wear this suit for the whole distance in the bike leg it was the Outlaw 2019 uh, the bike leg got cancelled because of bad weather so I've had to take it on some long rides uh, a couple of long rides post that. I can honestly say that having worn this it's certainly not less comfortable than the DS. Is it more comfortable? It might be slightly, actually. It's a damn good chamois for a tri-suit, and that's what it is, it's a tri-suit chamois. If you're someone that changes into a bike set of, of bibs or shorts, then you're probably not going to be too entertained by this. It's very little different to the DS uh, chamois. However, I found it really comfortable in 100 plus mile rides. So how have we at Real Life Reviews found this suit? Well, in the swim, it is very definitely quicker, very definitely quicker. And in doing 400 meter sets and 500 meter sets and trying to, to, to uh, using the DS long course, comparing it with that, because that's how Hoob compare this uh, suit, I'm, I'm getting two or three seconds difference over four and 500 meters. I'd like to say I'm getting more, and I think I am getting more, but I'm trying to be conservative here and not oversell it. It definitely feels quicker on the bike, and you feel like you're cutting through the air quicker. The figures I'm gonna quote you in a moment, though, are Hoob's figures. And on the run, it is more comfortable than the DS. And the DS was a decent, really decent, tri suit to run in. And I've run a, a number of marathon in that suit now from you know finishing off an Ironman so this is a very very comfortable suit hoops figures um, we're talking long course so if we take the Ironman for example a, a higher end performer averaging 22 miles an hour uh, over the course of an Ironman that's a seven and a half watt saving over the DS long course that who reckon 350 seconds just under six minutes. So for a top end performer, that's a big difference. What about you and me, who let's say 18 miles an hour? Well, that's a four watt saving. And that's not to be sniffed at because that four watt saving is obviously over a longer period of time. Who reckon that will save us 414 seconds? That's a tad under seven minutes, not bad. Take that to Olympic distance, where we're all moving a bit quicker over a shorter distance, 24 miles an hour, good performer, 9.8 watts, 9.8, 71 seconds. 20 miles an hour, 5.7 watts, 83 seconds. Well, not to be sniffed at, at all. So, do we like this tri suit? Yeah. We absolutely love this tri-suit. It's a tad expensive, but it is damn good. And can we recommend it? Yes, we can. Yes, I say it's a tad expensive, but there's a link down below to Wiggle. And at the moment, Wiggle have 30% off this tri-suit. That's pretty good. And if you go through that link down below, then the site just gets a small proportion of what you spend. You don't spend any more, you get your full saving and it helps keep the site going. So if you've enjoyed the video, please give it a thumbs up and share with your friends. 
If you haven't yet subscribed to the channel, well, there's a link just down there, click on the picture. There's also a link here to our website with further links to other affiliates. Up there, we have the video of the Hoob DS Long Course if you haven't seen it, and up here, we've got the Hoob Alpha Core Shorts. So, thanks again for watching.